Well, look who it is. Morning, sweets. Um, all right. So we've never sat here at the computer and done a live before. I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous. So um, can someone let us know if you can hear us and see us, please? That would be just awesome. Yep. To know that we're not just talking into, <laughs> into oblivion. Can you hear us? Sounds, looks, great. Thanks, Janice. Thank you, Janice. Um, you guys are the best. All right, let's say some hellos. So we've got Joyce, Kathy J, Jay Whitty, just Janice, whose birthday it was this week. Yep. Happy birthday, Janice. Uh, we've got Crafty Chicken Mom. We've got uh, TLP. Hellick. We've got Bears Den, Acrylic Art, Linda Hewick. Yeah, Sonia Hoko. K and K. K and K Creates. Hey, Terry Perry. Sonia. Oh my God, so many Perry. Oh, people. Tara's there. You said Tara. Tara. Yeah. Hi guys. <laughs> Happy Sunday to you. Thank you for being here with us. I know. I'm going to try and keep an eye on the chat so that we don't miss anything. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's actually really fun to be live and sitting here doing this. Um. Admittedly, there's a reason. Yeah. First off. As you all know, Tate had his little big Surgery. boy operation this yeah. week, which the vet called going to Vegas because he went to sleep, woke up, lost a couple of things, didn't know where he was, and uh, and so yeah, he lost his little he's lost his little pearls this week. Yeah. So we've been really looking after him and didn't have the chance to actually get in the studio and paint. Plus, our garage door just bust this week. So we I know which was bizarre. That was so bizarre. And it's rained a couple of times. So anyway, it's been a catalogue of things that have actually stopped us painting this week. And so we sat here and thought, what should we do? Yeah. And instead of not being here with you guys, because this is definitely the highlight of our Sunday morning. It is. Um, we wanted to do this live instead. Now we have gone live on the channel before. Any of you that have been with us long enough will have seen us pour live. But what we've never done is this, like a Q and A style, chit chatty, like ask us any questions. Coffee talk. Coffee. I've got my coffee too. I, got my coffee. I wonder if you can see what my mug says. <laughs> let's not <laughs> let's let's not say that out loud, <laughs> so, we so we don't so we don't not get monetized. Um, thank you, Marcy, for being here. I saw you pop in, and thank you so much for the super chat. Yeah, Susan Chigori is here. Susan C. Carlick. Yeah, and so many people. Thank you guys for being here. So. Format for this, we've we've got either 30 minutes or an hour if Gina doesn't premiere. Yeah. Because Gina usually goes 30 After minutes us. past the hour and then Mina at, at the top of the hour. Um, but what we wanted to do was like completely open the floor. Yes. Allow you guys to ask us any questions that you might have about anything at all, fluid art, or anything at all socially media -y. Hi, Gretchen is here as well. Yeah. Um, anything at all about any anything whatsoever. There's going to be no topic off the table. Yes. Are we sure about that? Oh my gosh. No topic is off the table. So yeah. you guys, you guys can ask anything you want, whether it's about socials, about YouTube, about painting, about techniques, about consistency, about fluid art experience, about fluid art world, whatever it is. Please feel free to ask. So, all that we do ask is that if you have a question shout it out in the comments box and put it in capitals because we see all of the comments all scrolling up through the chat, but it'll help us then make sure that we don't miss anything. Yes. Go for it. And Amy, thank you. She said, my tats are looking real good today. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Here it's, they are. it's healed really well. Yeah. Look at that. This looks really awesome. So, I love them. <laughs> yeah, I love them too. I think they look great. Um, so let's open up the floor. If you guys have got any specific questions about TLPs, how to mix them for acrylic paint, why mm -hmm. about talking about socials, mm -hmm. talking about how to maximize your own socials, putting things up on Instagram, monetization on YouTube, yeah. Patreon, anything at all please feel free to shout out and ask. It's going to be a two-way street. <laughs> what are your favorite desserts? I love that. <laughs> Marcy. All the desserts, Marcy. All the desserts. 
I'm all desserts. Yes. <laughs> That's, what we like. That's the answer. <laughs> well, I, that, well, you go well, first. My favorite one actually is uh, is um, tres leches. That's my absolute favorite dessert. Okay. And Lee makes it amazingly. I mean, he is so good. He makes them so good. Thank you, brother. Yeah. It's not a particularly difficult dessert to make. It's just a really nice vanilla sponge, and then you just mix a load of sweet creams and just pour it on top and leave it in the fridge for 24 yeah. hours. But I also do love a good trizzle Yes. So, yes, yeah, so that's what you normally have. And hey, then, Stacey. Sorry. Uh, hey, Stacey. Hey, Stacey. Have we missed anyone? No? Good. Um, for me, my favorite dessert would probably have to be, like, pie. Oh, really? Yeah, anything like pie. If I'm just going to have a dessert, it'll be, like, a warm... Cherry pie, mixed berry pie, apple pie, something like that. Yeah. Because in England with we with ice cream. Well, in England we have it with custard. Oh. Like a hot custard, which you don't really have here. So weird. I know. <laughs> but yes. That's that's <laughs> my that's my favorite. Hey, um Brian's here from Studio yeah. 15. Hi Brian. Products. Speaking of Marcy, because we like to, because she's awesome. Um, if you didn't already know, the Matty Art Studios Leaky Corp is now on mixed media page, mixed media girls page. Yes. So if you're thinking to yourself, well, I need to get a cup and it's not in stock on your website, that's because we're now directing everyone over to www.mixedmediagirl.com. Yes. And I forgot to tell you this, and I know I still need to answer your text. Um, she sold 69 of them in the first month. Oh my God. I know, right? So we're, that actually now puts us over a thousand that, we, uh, that we've sold since its launch with Elaine Burton, aka the Duchess, being the very yeah. first person to buy one. Yeah. So thank you to everyone that's wanted a cup. Um, all right, let's go to the next question. There was a question. Go. Um, is, how is your dog recovering? Oh, Sonia, he's Sonia, he's doing really great. Yeah. I'm surprised he's not been like I know. walking about our feet. He's still no wearing a cone. No, no, no. Go on. Well, go, well, maybe at the end. Maybe at the end. Maybe. Okay. Okay. Um, he's he's still wearing the cone of shame. He had his operation on Wednesday. He will wear the cone until this next Saturday. Um, but he has forgotten about it. He's doing really well. Mm. He's not scratching it or anything at no. all. No. He's bumping into the things. first. The first day was pretty bad for him. Right. But after that. He, he's been a really good today is his fifth day and he's really doing a lot better um it is his fifth day and he's still doing really well but yeah, yeah overall he's doing great yeah and we're keeping him super calm and not allowing him to jump up and stuff everyone loves pie oh it's our east coast girlfriend kathleen's in the house with us hey kathleen okay um there was one about uh have, have you, you added, added threads to your social media catalog yet no we haven't I, I've seen the chat about it. I've heard it's like Instagram without the pictures, but I need to do a little bit more research about it. Okay. Yeah. So haven't added it yet, Gretchen, but will do at some point. Yes. And then somebody asked if we could do more blooms and ninja swipes. I just saw that. It's from Diane. Diana. Yeah. Diana Munns. Yes. Has asked for that. Yes. Let's talk blooms. Let's talk blooms. I don't love them. I love them. Right. I love doing them. There we go. I think they're amazing. I, I, I've i bloomed only maybe two or three times in my career as an artist. And, um, you know, it's the, it's the lacing and the, and the, and the compositions that I just don't love. I find it really hard to bloom something that I've enjoyed. Yeah. So, um, Jeremy though, is a, as an awesome bloomer, you do little tiles and you've done all yeah. sorts of stuff. I love blooming. Um, ninja swipes. I, I did do a ninja swipe in a Sarah Mac collab that we did a long time ago. And I found that really hard, but I did really enjoy it. And I'm sure you guys have seen the, she did like a three foot by four foot ninja mm -hmm. swipe very mm -hmm. recently, which was amazing. So yes, Diana, let's do some ninja swipes on the channel. Uh, Carla is asking, how long have y'all been painting and what do you do in your other life? Ooh, you answer first. Um, well, I, I paint full time. I'm, I'm just an artist. Um, but I, I, say, do... I say he's retired, <laughs> but he's, he calls himself an artist. I, um, I also do a lot of other things. I crochet which i have a crochet channel i need to put up another video up on that um i also do tumblers i've resin tumblers I'm, i've gotten into making those with my cricket um yeah i do all kinds of stuff uh what about you well you got me into painting yeah. actually it was 
I, I have a day job. I'm very corporate, kind of in the business world, creative, but never really considered myself to be art creative. And so he was watching a ton of videos through the pandemic on soap making, which yeah. led to another video and another video. And then it suddenly we saw a Sarah Mack video of her doing a huge open cup. And then we started watching Dutch Paws and it was Canella who was up next. And then we were just like immersed for yeah. months in watching YouTube videos. And we thought, let's start our own channel. And that's and been three, three years. years. Three years in August is our, yeah. is our YouTube anniversary, but I physically started painting just three years ago. Okay. Yeah. Next question. How do you go about doing a live? Never done one before. Want to do a giveaway. Ooh. Yeah. Jay Witty. Jay Witty. I love lives. Um, so it's a really easy process on your YouTube studio. You can either set up a live for a future event mm -hmm. and you just uh, schedule it like you would do a normal episode, or you can go live immediately and just yeah. throw up a live. Um, but you'll do it all through YouTube studio. And as long as you've got a channel, you can go live at any point. I don't think you have to have a number of subscribers to do it. So you can go live at any point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And August here, he said hello. So hi, hey, August. August. Um, and Brian says he's actually got bloomers on right now. <laughs> Kathleen's here. Hi, Kathleen. She says, I would love to see more negative space boyfriends. <laughs> you know, neg okay. negative space is actually the theme of Nate Bright Arts Patreon group, which is called the, the Art Lab. Mm -hmm. That is the theme for July. So we're actually part of Nate's um, Patreon group, Patreon account. And that's one of the things that we've got yeah. to do. So by the end of July, you'll definitely see more negative space for uh -huh. us, for sure. And Gabe's here from Bears Than Acrylic. Hello, Gabe. Um, Jerry let's... Peter's here, too. I just saw Jerry. Yeah, Jerry's here. How's this? Hello, little piggy. Oh, um, Joyce asks, which one of you brought the Massey name to your union? My guess is Jerry. <laughs> yes. Massey is my family name. It is. Mm-hmm. And I just changed my passport finally. Yeah. So now I'm, an, I'm officially a, a Massey too. Because mm -hmm. my name is not Massey. It's something different. Yeah. But now it is Massey. And now it is, he yeah. just changed it. I so did, I did. He, I is did. Now, he is now Lee Massey. That's exactly. When, okay, let's, Linda said, what's your top tip for starting a YouTube channel? And do you think there's room for more? And that's from Linda Herrick Art. Can, can I? Please. Um, uh, top tip is going to be getting your camera angle right and uh, and what was the second part of it? And uh, there do you, there's absolutely there's room for more. People love, love watching everyone's channels. Um, but uh, yeah, as far as like the top tip, um, just making sure that you're catching the entire canvas on camera and that when you tilt it, you can still see the entire canvas. Um, I think that that's like one of the biggest things that I've seen, you know, I've seen people do where they go off camera, they're like over here um, and that kind of thing. I've mm -hmm. seen that a lot. I have a few. Okay. If I may be so bold. Um, first off, understand why you're setting up your channel. Mm. Is it for fun? Is it for education? Is it to sell your art? Or is it all three? Yeah. Um, you know, we definitely believe that the reason why people come and watch us isn't solely because of the art that we do. It's because we put our faces on camera and we have silly banter and it's just us, you know. We, we enjoy doing what we're doing and we kind of like the chit-chat too. Um, so, so understand the reasons why you're setting up a channel. Um, if, it's, um, if it's for fun, then just do what you love. Yeah. Don't care about how many subscribers you got or whether you get monetized or how long your videos are or how many times that you post your episodes because it's not going to matter to you because you're doing it because you like doing it. Yeah. But if you're doing it to make it into a business, then there are some things that you do need to do and some, some guidelines that you should follow um, and ways in which you can try and maximize views to your episodes. There's, you know, a yeah. million channels out there showing you and telling you things that you can do to try and make your channel a business. Yeah. One person that I would go and suggest that you watch is Mixed Media Girls, the Business of Art channel. Absolutely. 
and or come and see Mixed Media Girl or any of the Fluid Art experiences or at yeah. Hawkon, which is coming up soon. I August know, six so through the nine in Las Vegas. Because M- Marcy's got years worth of social media and YouTube experience that she yeah. puts out there for free. And always ask us questions in the, in the comments box as well, because we'll always answer them. Um, um, so yeah, lots and lots and lots of things about setting up a YouTube channel. Is there room for more? Absolutely. There's a lot of people out there, so there's a lot of people viewing, but viewers are not exclusive. Neither is subscribers. Yep. So we subscribe to 270 channels. We have so many channels that we go through. Tons of them. Yeah. So yeah, always room for more. Just maybe try and make yourself a little different. And uh, Brian from Studio 15 Acrylics asks, when did you first grenade? How did you think about that the first time? And what made you put a pin in your cup for the first time? Um, put a pin in it. Put a pin in it. Uh, you know, I saw, what what is that guy's name? Um, Wiggets or? Wiggles. Wiggles. Mm-hmm. Um, he does all kinds of crazy stuff. Mops and egg cartons and all kinds of stuff. And I saw him do that once. And I was like, wow, what is he doing? And, um, and so... I was like, oh my God, it's like a grenade. You pull it. And I think Mina actually called it a grenade, I think. No, you called it a grenade. I called it a grenade yeah. first. Yeah, for the first time you yeah. definitely did. Yeah, and I think Mina was like, oh my God, that's so cute. Um, <laughs> I, I honestly can't remember. It was so long ago. I love me some Mina Villegas. Um, but yeah, that's that's what I saw it through Wiggles. And, uh, and I was like, I just want to give that a try. And then I kind of coined the grenade. But um, it just made sense, like well, having that, in it. yeah, yeah, having that release of the pressure in it that that pushes the paint right out onto the canvas. So, um, but yeah, that's that's how that all came about. I love it. Yeah. Um, Sonia wants to know what kind of technique is your favorite, one that's giving you the most satisfaction, and then Kathleen asks, "What's my favorite? So oh, what's your geez. favorite technique?" Oh my gosh, um, I kind of have two favorites. Okay, um, the loud. I love I love doing a rec ring pour. Okay, I really like that. But I I, I think I think my number one favorite is a grenade pour. I really love the outcome of that. I love the um, just the structure of it and how the composition comes out. It's just beautiful. Everything kind of swirls and melts together and and that kind of thing. Um, yeah, and then it's going to be the a marbling technique. I love that too. I love that. Um, and I love both of those pieces that you create using those techniques. I, I, right now, and I feel like I go in and out of techniques, but right now my favorite is the blobs. Um, I get excited about blobs. I dream about blobs. Oh, I kind of... Bloptastic crazy right now. I wake up thinking about them. I write down kind of, you know, color palettes that I want to use and I want to try and make landscapes out of them. I've got I've got I've just bought a 36 by 36 wood board to do one and a 20 by 40 wood board to do yeah. one. So I want to go big and do big blobs. And I watch all the blob artists. Um there's some really, really awesome people out there doing some really fun stuff with them. So yeah, blobs are definitely my favorite, Kathleen, right now. I just want to say hello real quick to Elaine Stokes in London and then I saw DHA uh, that's right yeah DRH, DRH acrylic acrylic, acrylic, yeah. thank you guys for being um, here uh, okay so where did I see it at oh Ka- Kathy Jensen how do you edit a session to make it uh, YouTube worthy hmm. there there's different trains of thought Kathy there are people out there that don't edit at all yeah there are people out there that do not spend a second editing other than just maybe cropping front and back and throwing up a logo in it yeah so Again, if you're doing YouTube for fun, you don't have to edit as long as the content that you're putting out is what you feel to be worthy or watchable. But if you're doing it as a business, then yeah, I would suggest editing. Um, and we use iMovie. Yeah. So we'll throw up um, a 30 minute video, usually with about an hour and 15 minutes worth of content, which I cut down to 30 minutes. Yeah. And we'll put music pretty much all the way through the pause. Um, put up titles yeah. and do our intros and outros and stuff. And that will maybe take me about an hour and a half to two hours to edit. Exactly. Yeah. Now, one of my favorite artists actually to watch is going to be Cos Creations, <laughs> Kathleen. <laughs> I saw that Kathleen asked that question. <laughs> I do. I do love to watch Kathleen. Kathleen actually. said, who's your favorite artist to watch? So of the not obvious ones, who's your oh, favorite artist um, to watch? Oh my gosh. You know what? I catch, uh, I catch Jay Witty. Um, I catch a her a lot. Um, I don't comment as much as I should, you guys, but I do watch some of your videos. Um, 
I will. We watch just Janice. We watch um, Lori Houston, Elaine um, and Amy. Elaine, Amy. Who's your favorite? Do you have one that you're like always just excited to watch? Oh gosh, um, I just get excited whenever I see the poor, like yeah. the the pores itself. Um, I like K and K creates. Um, Barristan, like I watched so many videos of you guys. We're just really knocked everyone that's here. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are all just really awesome. I, I have know. someone that I'm watching that's not on YouTube, and it's a person that's on Instagram called Black Stock Paint. It's all one word, um, Black Stock Paint, and she's doing some really awesome stuff with like little blobs right now. So that's yeah. someone that I'm watching and excited about, yeah. other than all those. Yeah. Susan wants to know, can I be the third wheel in your marriage? <laughs> <laughs> we need a third wheel to take care of this marriage. Let me tell you. Absolutely. hundred <laughs> um, percent. But um, but yeah, you'd have to put up with both of us all the time, 24-7. So you probably wouldn't really want to do that anyway. And Tate there as well. So, you know, he'd, he'd, he'd yeah. have to come as a package deal. Tara asked, does social media take a lot of time? Yes. It is a full-time job. It really is. At this level. So um, we've got almost 20,000 subscribers on YouTube. We post twice a week. We've got 40-odd thousand on TikTok. We've got 13,000 on Facebook. Um, and it takes a time to build up to that, to that level. And then the more people that you've got on those socials, the more time you have to feel like you're putting into it and, you know, effort to to splice videos. Oh, we use Splice as an editing tool for Facebook, Facebook. and TikTok. Yes. So, you know, um, yeah, it can be a full-time job. And I have a full-time job as yeah. well, as, as well as Jeremy with his art too. So, yeah, it's definitely time-consuming if you want to do it as a business. Yeah, because, you got, I mean, keeping up with all the social medias, I mean, you're answering comments, you're editing videos more than once right. to get them on the different platforms because Facebook is one-to-one, -one, YouTube is another format. 16 to 9. 16 to 9. Yeah. And it's like, it, it's just, it, it's all different so you you're editing like multiple times and um and this consistency is key to all of it like you just have to keep up with it on a nor on a regular basis and lee is giving me side eye right now because it's like <laughs> he's always on me to keep up with it so but there, there's a there is a lot to do it is a lot but it's 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 fun it's never it never feels like sometimes it feels like a job sometimes it just feels like fun okay. um Jerry says, will you guys ever try anything out of your comfort zone like mixed media art? That was Jerry Peter. Shall I? Yeah. What? Can oh. grab a Tumblr and show them? If you are, absolutely, yeah. No, like mixed media. Oh, like mixed media. Yes, yeah. yes, please. Um, Jerry, yes, absolutely. In fact, um, Jeremy's just doing a set of tumblers right now for his family for um Simblings weekend. Simblings weekend which they have every once every year which is yeah. really fun um and you know janice from just janice janice Pittman from yeah. just janice is absolutely inspiring me to do something like mixed media oh my gosh she does incredible incredible work you guys if you haven't seen her steampunk yeah. inspired like canvases and pieces of art please you have to go and watch and follow her because she's amazing but um yeah i love that i made this i made this i made this, I made this. It's super cute. I like it a lot. Yeah. And then I made this one for my sister, Christine. With little bees on with it. With little bees on it. And it says, inspire, love, believe. Believe. Get it? I, th I really like that. And Jeremy, just before I, this one disappears, Brian asks that I oh, yeah. said a few weeks ago that I kind of lost my passion for art. And yeah. How did we get it back? Well, it was absolutely true. After the February fluid art experience, I found it really hard to paint. Like I just struggled. I just yeah. didn't enjoy the idea of painting. Um, and it actually took almost four months to kind of get over it. I, it wasn't until the Seattle event mm -hmm. the following April that it, then I got re-inspired. Um, so there's different trains of thought. One of them is push yourself through it make yourself paint, get in the studio, try something different, do something different, yeah. experiment. The other train of thought is just feel the feelings and allow yourself the opportunity to actually just go through it. Yeah. And don't paint. Maybe you need to just do some research or try and get some inspiration from somewhere else. Yeah. Um, for me, I had to just step away from it. And and then I came back to it. Yeah. So that was, that was how I did it. Evie's here. 
Jeez, hello. I've been here in forever. Hello, hello. I'm so glad you're here. Everyone's so loving the tumblers. Oh, awesome. Thank so you, guys. So George Ann Martin is doing cutting boards for the family for Christmas. Oh, that's awesome. That's going to be really yeah. cool. Yeah. Um, Crafty Chicken Mom, CCM, is saying that she has lost her passion. You know, I think it happens to us all. Listen, yeah. like you heard of writer's block. There definitely is painter's block. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I, I feel like sometimes, we're, especially when we're as creatives churning out as much as we do when you have a channel. Hey, feral art. Hello, I know. Kelly. I know. Hi, Kelly. When you're churning out as much content as you do when you have a channel, two or three episodes a week, and you have to paint, then I feel like you can just like lose the passion for it. You can get uninspired. Um, but what I, I'd suggest you do is just go back to your roots. Just go back to what made you inspired in the first place. Maybe it's just watching videos. Maybe it's stepping away from the studio for a little while. Yeah, I mean, go back and watch some of your first videos. Uh, it's They're hilarious, first of all. And um, and you can see like where you started and why you started. And, uh, and watch, you know, I, I like to watch other people's videos to get inspiration for colors and, you know, for techniques and stuff right. like that. Um, cause it is easy to get burnt out whenever you're doing another wrecked ring pour or you're doing, you know, the same thing, like, you know, and it's like trying to find something new and different. Right. Um, uh, but it's, you know, it's definitely something that, uh, that, you know, just to keep up on top of uh, actually. Yeah. It's been 300 and maybe 400 videos in three years yeah. for us. And yeah. probably in that time, maybe like seven or 800 pieces of art. And and so it's only natural that during that time you're gonna have you're gonna get a bit overwhelmed or blah about it. Oh my god, so how funny! Just just feel the feelings. Yeah, Gabe from Bears and Acrylic asks, "What is your least favorite color to use?" Orange, magenta. <laughs> there you go. Oh yeah, that was an easy one. Um, I saw what's the most common size canvas we both like to paint on. That's from Michelle Ooh. Plunkett. I love twenty by twenties, honestly. Or actually, I love giant canvases i was waiting for that one. i love like 48 by 60s I, I i love huge canvases but i never do them because it's of product <laughs> product and story costs so much to paint a big painting it's like so much paint and where do you put it and where do you put it it's like it, it's yeah our walls so, are a fill of, of and, our own art and everyone else's art yeah we don't have a place for another 60 by 40. And to sell and ship it, oh my gosh. Super Shipping expensive. is like as much as it costs to buy the painting. Right. It's ridiculous. Um, Jerry asks if there's a piece that you feel very emotional about. Ooh. Um, very emotional about. Yeah, actually. Which one? Um, that one upstairs in the bathroom that yeah. you did that I oh. absolutely love. Oh, that's crazy. That's yeah. the one the Duchess wants. Yeah. <laughs> Duchess is around that for the longest time. Yeah. Um, I absolutely loved my pride blob that i just did mm. that one was very special to me if can i show it real quick yeah absolutely it's just hanging right next to us yeah and it just recently sold so this one was something i felt real really, really you did feel very about. passionate about well that. yeah especially when i finished it it was um it was probably one of my technically one of my most favorite pieces I've ever done. Like I could have just done the board and then just stopped, but then the blobs all came out fantastic. And oh, especially because it was for pride. Yeah. And I don't know, there's just so much love that I put into that piece. It is. And it, and it portrays love, you know, yeah, it's right. like, that's what it, it, it means. Well, and it was also a, a little collab that we did with Sarah Mack and, and that was special to me too. So yeah, that one for sure for me. Uh, Jennifer R is here. Thank you for being here. When images, when images from Gretchen hits a creative block, she tries things in a completely different field. Oh yeah, yeah. So she she joined some thirty day challenges and took watercolor class, classes and stuff. That's a really good idea. Like, literally, get yourself out of your comfy zone. Yeah. And then Brian says, he says he's having a blockage even just walking in the studio. The thought of painting and editing and posting, it can be draining. Yeah. yeah, it can turn into a job. One thing that we said when we first started the channel was we didn't want it turning into something we were doing for the sake of doing it. Yeah. And there have been periods of time when that's felt like the case. Yeah. But I'll tell you, you guys are the ones that keep us going. Yeah, because absolutely. Because doing these premieres and talking to people, sharing the art and the passion, seeing your guys's passion definitely kind of keeps me yeah. creative. I mean, it, it, 
we paint to share our creativity with you guys and to get your feedback and know that, you know, that you like it or you don't like it or, you know, and you just love to watch the channel. That means everything to us. It's one of the main reasons why we paint. And um, yeah, it's it, it just, you guys are incredible and we love you guys. Jay Whitty says she goes back to her in a, in a Picasso to find inspiration. Would we, would we try a Picasso? Probably. Well, I mean, listen, I'm not going to say no to anything. Like, I'll try anything once. To do a Picasso, like yeah. a cubism kind of piece? Yeah, maybe. I kind of did that a little bit on a Tumblr to, yeah. a, to a certain degree. Yeah. And yeah, we've been, we've, I think what it is for us is when we, when we want to, when we need to be inspired, we probably try other things too. Yeah. You, you crochet, you go back to crocheting, you, you do other things. Um, so yeah, maybe. I'm yeah, gonna I think never. that you got me. You got me kind of like mm. Jay Witty. You just kind of planted a bug in my in my head there in my <laughs> ear. So uh, yeah, a bug in your ear. A bug in my ear. Okay. Um, Michelle Plunkett says she loves my ribbon paws and your wrecked rings. So those are the things oh, that she likes you. the best. Thank you for that. Um, Jennifer R. I was painting in my garage, but the lighting is not good. Mm. What kind of lighting do you guys use in your garage? So. It's a little bit of a scandal with the lighting because I like to use lights and Lee doesn't like to use lights. He likes to use a natural light coming in from the garage yes. um, because it's very difficult to get the lighting just right to where it doesn't change the colors on camera whenever you're filming it. Um, and so uh, we turn the, the, the lights up towards the ceiling so the light actually reflects, reflects down. Um, that was a top tip by HOA. Yes, HOA. Uh -huh. Maybe yes. Like Brian Bellagos. Husband of office, awesomeness. Right. Sorry, guys. I hope that didn't stop there. I know. The live stream. Let's see if you guys are still there. Oh, my, oh my God. Sorry. For that. My mom just called. <laughs> And of course, she calls right whenever she knows that we're having a. a... Oh my God. Mother. <laughs> oh my, she better not call again. I'm turning my phone off. <laughs> Bless that. Clearly, they're clearly she wants something. Oh my God. Right, so we got to call mum after, after this live. Yeah. That's hilarious. Um, what we were saying, what we were saying. <laughs> oh, I totally forgot. But yeah, so we just turned the, the we don't oh, that's put right. the lights directly on. Yeah. We, we point them up. Yeah. Um, okay. Love of creating. Hi, guys. Just wanted to see what your live is like. <laughs> you were awesome. Um, Thank you. August Acrylic Art wants to know if I'm buying the drinks at Porcom. Where did that one come from? I kind of remember, I feel like I remember Billy also once saying in one of the collab videos that I was going to be buying the drinks. Um, there's 300 plus people coming. Right. Um, water's on me, I guess. <laughs> Sodas. Uh, no, but there will be plenty of drinks <laughs> There will be plenty of drinks Walk flowing. On. Come and see me or Kathleen at some point. Way to go, mom. That's natural dance party. Cane cases, oh my God. Flag the caller. Put her on speaker as she goes guys... back. We're blushing. Yeah, wow. absolutely. Do you guys give in-depth studio tours? Ooh. Um, our studio is actually also our garage. Yeah. And so it's, it's kind of messy, other than when you see the table. So we've got racks on either side of the garage, one for paint, one for soap for him. Mm -hmm. And then there's all the normal stuff that you see in a garage, like a rake and boxes and oil and stuff. Um, so we tend not to give like uh, tours of the garage, but if you guys were ever interested in wanting like a technical overview, like how we physically film and all that kind of stuff, let us know because we can absolutely throw up an episode of just about like the technical bits and pieces about filming and stuff. Yeah. So yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So Kelly says, I know you're buying me a margarita at PoorCon after I've given you so many. Girl, you better get ready for PoorCon. That's all I got to say. It's going to be so fun. Yeah, it's going to be a blast. How many of you here are coming to PoorCon? Shout out in the comment section if you guys are going to be there because we'd love to know who we're going to be giving hooks to. Please. Yeah. Um, I was going to say about lighting because we were just talking about it. Yeah. That um, we do have the tripod kind of, is it halogen? 
what's that? What's that like? Are you talking about the round one? No, the the square ones. They're, oh. they're not bulbs, you know. They're they're like the, the LED, LED lights. LED lights. So they don't get hot. Exactly. So that they can actually just stand in the studio. But but like Jeremy said, I feel like whenever we use them, it casts like a weird color onto the art. So the art never looks true. Yeah. So I would rather paint in the studio in the garage with the garage door open and maybe brighten the yeah episode rather than use a fake light yeah so that's what i I mean if you can get natural light while you're while you're filming that's the best light that you can get um but if you're going to use lights like i said just angle them up towards the ceiling and um and try to try to get it from four angles so two this way and then two this way why um because you don't want if you go just this way you might get a shadow so if you go if you have four on each corner or one on each corner um then it it captures like all areas of it <laughs> does Is that indeed. right yeah no yes. exactly right if you shine two lights at you you'll cast a shadow behind, behind you. you if you have two shadow lights behind you you'll cast a shadow in front of you but if you have four lights then there's no shadow. exactly yeah exactly that so let's see who's coming so we've clearly got feral art we've got kathy J. um oh. unfortunately ava's not going to be there crafty chicken mom's going to be there kathleen's there august, august. acrylic art there that's going to be Excellent. awesome um Paige, Paige coleman's Coleman. going to be there wow it's going to be so many people so Jennifer says, my garage is at an angle to my house and creates a wind tunnel or wind tornado. Oh, so, Sarah Max here. Hey, Mac Mac. Uh, yeah, <laughs> pork on, she says. What's pork on? Hello, Mina. Mina's here too. We were just talking. Uh, Your just, ears must have been booming. I know. We were just talking about you, Mina. So um, Jennifer was talking about um, wind and audio. So this is the little packs that we use. It's called Movo, Mm -hmm. but then you can also just get lavaliers. Um, This one is a remote, so it's wireless to the camera, but then we just wear these when we're filming. Yeah, up through your shirt. Yeah, and And so you don't get tangled on the table. And then all you're really capturing is this sound rather than all the sound behind you. So they're what we use all the time. And then when we're at the table... We use this little thing. Nate Bright's here, but also look who else is here. Christina Welsh. Oh my gosh. Oh okay. My. I don't know what we can, I don't know. Public, don't say okay. too much, but Christina, we hope you're doing really well. I know. Yes. And all that. Um, oh, Nate's here. Hello, Nate. Nate, we were talking about you too. Yeah. Kath- Kathleen was asking about negative space mm-hmm. and we were telling everyone that the Nate Bright Art Patreon group, Nate's lab, art lab challenge is actually to create negative yeah. space. So if you're not already one of Nate's Patreons, consider that too. Definitely. Uh, They're always doing fun Sarah stuff. Mac, we were talking about you, uh, Bears Den, Studio. But yep, everyone's thinking about you, Christina. Um, questions? Please. Questions. Oh my questions, gosh, questions. I feel like we I think like we've missed a ton of them. Uh, there is going to be a train today. It's going to consist of Mina, Feral Art, Brian, and Nate. So mm. at 10 o'clock Pacific, please make sure that you all go over to see Mina. Yes, we were, Sarah. We were talking about the very first piece of art that we ever saw, which was you on the floor. Yes. Doing that huge big open cup that I coveted for years. Yeah. Until you sold it. Oh, Kathy Jensen. Rude. What's the stuff? Oh, that's the second time she asked. <laughs> the, the first time I kind of, I saw it and then forgot to ask, I forgot to answer. Let me answer. It's coming. That's, that's my answer. <laughs> so what we didn't want to do was put a, put out a recipe for anything that we haven't rigorously tested. Yeah. And we keep mixing up the ratios of the, the products the products that are actually in the stuff. Um, and so it's creating different results. Sometimes we're getting extra cells that we didn't need. Mm-hmm. Sometimes the drying time is taking too long. Um, this never cracked on us yet, thankfully. Yeah. Um, so um, we're going through a ton more R&D, really loving the thickness of it, um, but we'll let you know about it very soon. Yeah. Anything else you want to say? Um, the stuff. Um, I'm kind of on the fence about it. I think it's good. Uh, but sometimes like, I, I, like I said, we're still playing with the ratios. Um, and, uh, but yeah, we're going to keep, keep playing with it. Oh, Sarah and Mina have a mini collab. 
Oh, really? Yeah, I just saw that. Mina says that Sarah and I have a mini collab today. Um, so um, she's going after Mina. Okay, that's fantastic. So it'll be Mina and then Sarah and oh, then great. a mix of Brian and Nate and Feral. Feral. Yeah. So please stick around for that. That'll be a lot of fun. Um, thank you, everyone, for the thoughts and prayers. I love you all. Anna's been a super trooper. Okay, fantastic. So um, please give Christina Welsh your love and support and, and send her lots of hugs and kisses because she's going to need it. Um, her piece is amazing. Of course it is. It's Sarah Mank. Why right. wouldn't it? Why wouldn't it? Serious. Um, what is in the stuff? I can revent of that. Are you planning on selling the stuff or giving out? Oh my gosh, no, Bobby, we're going to absolutely give it out. There's no plan to sell oh, yeah. the stuff. We don't have um, the exactly. opportunity to kind of mass produce or anything like that. Yeah. Package and deliver. No, no. So we're going to tell you exactly how we created it. Yeah. Um, great to see you, Jerry. I love it. Anyone that we've missed in saying hello, we're, we thank you all for being here and we appreciate you. I know. We started off the live stream by telling everyone that the reason why we were doing this was because we didn't have the opportunity to paint because of Tate and his cone. And then the garage door was busted. And, and so yeah, we were we like, any light. Yeah. let's do something a little different. We're looking dapper. Oh, we're, and we're black and white. I didn't, I didn't right. We're, we're like yeah. yin and yang. <laughs> Sorry, not too chatty today. She's trying to get things posted <laughs> while listening. Yeah, feral art. I know that. Sometimes rushing last minute to get something up. Mina's asking how Tate is now. Tate's doing really good. Yeah, he's doing really well. Yeah. He, better than I expected. Right? Oh, yeah. Much better than I expected, too. Absolutely. He, yeah, today's day five, and he's, like, wanting to run and jump and play and stuff, and we're just, like, calming him down, so we don't want him to rip his stitches or anything. So... He's um, on Trazodome also for calming him down. Right. So that, oh. that's helpful. Speaking of. Oh, is he here? Tater tot. What's, what's the acrylic creations by Jay Whitty wants to know what's the best way to market our art? Okay. So definitely go and check out Mixed Media Girls, the business of our channel. Um, but I would say to you that you what we've been doing is maximizing all the social medias so TikTok, instagram and all the others oh really you got your cone on did you sleep in <laughs> he looks so sad i know he was, i woke him up you did wake him up yeah. look at that face he might also be a little high right now He's um, on pain medication. He is on pain medication. He's the little tater tot. But surprisingly, after 24 hours, he completely has forgotten about that kind of Other than when he looks down, he kind of like keeps looking down and banging himself with it. He's doing really well. Um, August, he is a burner doodle. He's a mini burner doodle. Yeah. So he's a mix of Bernie's mountain dog and poodle. Um so he's, <laughs> he's showing you his teeth. Smiling thing right now. He's uh, hyperallergenic and he doesn't shed. And Jeremy just woke him up. And he's, he's high, so he's probably feeling his gums right now. It's all the things. You can right, go boy. I'm going to go lay him back down. Yeah, why don't you do that? And I'm, I'm going to answer the question around how you maximize selling your art. Okay. So, as I was saying, all the socials um, and posting pictures up there regularly using hashtags where it's appropriate to get people to come to see the art. Because clearly, if you're just posting pictures of your art and no one's looking at it, then it's never going to sell. Um, if you've got a platform like a YouTube or an Instagram account or a Facebook page, then making sure that you're maximizing that. Um, we have our art in a local gallery slash frame shop. Um, so they sell our art for us. It's, it's been in there now just over a year and they've probably sold 10 pieces for us. Um, it's on consignment. So they take a percentage of whatever it is that we sell. Um, and then, and then think about maybe doing like a YouTube auction. Um, there's different ways of doing, you know, and selling art through YouTube. So you can do a auction where you just post pictures and get people to silently bid on those pictures, mm. or you can actually throw up an episode and do like a live auction too. Yeah. So, um, you know, clearly the more people that see your art, the more chance you've got of selling it. 
yeah. is, is probably just my biggest advice. And please go check out the business of art, www.mixmediagirl.com and her channels on YouTube because yes. she has some really good stuff. Nate asked, does Tate have his own social media accounts? <laughs> he does. He does. He has an Instagram account. Um, so um, I'll link it in the comment. In fact, it's probably already in the comments. We don't post on there an awful lot um, because of all the other social medias that we're looking after, but every now and again, we'll throw a picture of him. But he does smile. He's like the cutest. He's a, he's a good pup. He is. <laughs> Chris, Gathy Jensen says she buys way too much at auctions. Right. One thing I will say to you is that anyone that's coming to Porcon, there is going to be a huge gallery huge gallery all the 22 artists are being encouraged to bring anything up to like eight pieces of mm -hmm. art each so if you are going to be at poor con you're going to have the opportunity to to grab some really fabulous art from all the 22 yeah. teachers um so please make sure to save some pennies up for that if yeah. you can um sarah says is take coming to poor con uh no tate will not be at poor con unfortunately he will be at his aunt monique's house <laughs> Um, I we did think about bringing him because Billy wants yeah. him there as well as like the mascot, but you know it would just be too overwhelming for him. I think it would be too overwhelming for him. It would. I know, boo, indeed. As much as we would love him there, it just means you're gonna have to come here and visit him instead. I know exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, images by Gretchen says attending FAE in Seattle was one of the best things I've done to feed my creative self. Just pure fun that was not attached to my camera. FAE was a different kind of wildlife. Yes, right. it was nice to see the the wild in their, you know, native habitat. I know. In a, in a fluid art ex convention. Porcon will be just exactly the same. Um, just like just fluid art boutique bigger. is, just like fluid art experiences. One of the things that we've said about those events is that because you're pouring with other people and you get to be around other people that are like-minded, creative, it really does just inspire you. So it does. Thank you for saying that. It really does. Imogen, I know that um, the events are special to us because of just that. Uh, he's actually thirty pounds, just over. He's thirty-three pounds. Thirty-three pounds. Yeah. He, so he's actually a mini in terms in in terms of, of well, in terms of a Bernese Mountain Dog. Yeah. yeah. He's he's definitely smaller. He is. Yeah. Um, Jennifer says she bought Lettuce Entertain You on one of our live auctions. It's amazing. Next to oh, my God. I remember that one. <laughs> I remember that one, too. Yeah. That's really awesome. Um, yes. Christina says we'll have more fun worrying about him in the room or where he is or if he's jumping yeah. up at people and all those things. Yeah. Because yeah, he's still a puppy. So he's, he still, he's still doing all those things. The energy everyone brings to the events is fantastic. It really is. Um, it's kind of crazy just to be around everyone and feel it. It's genuinely palpable. Yeah. Especially in like the, the events, like the evening events are always really fun. There's going to be a raffle at Porcon, Q and A, just like they're always, you know, mm -hmm. all sorts of really fun stuff. Yeah. Acrylic Creations by Jay Whitty says, please bring in an event to Orlando, please. It is in the works, um, or at least Florida for sure. Kathleen will not allow us not to consider Florida as an option for fluid art experience. Yes. And it definitely will be in Florida at some point. Some point. Yes. Um, and keep your eyes out for fluid art boutique and also Porcon in the future, because I'm sure that's going to travel too. So do they know where we're having our next FAE? Tell these, tell these wonderful people. All right. The fluid art experience is going to be uh, in Nashville, Tennessee. Yay, home I'm of so excited. Good music, good food, good and, food. Oh my and God. lots of art. Yeah. yeah. Um, the dates are still TBD. We're still looking March, April, mm -hmm. May time. Um, we've got some options of places. We're just narrowing it down. Um, so yeah, hopefully we'll see you in spring in a uh, fluid art experience. Yes. Love me some Nashville. Who doesn't? Tate weighs as much as all four, <laughs> four of Brian's puppies combined. I know, and Kathleen says, oh my God, he's Lido's weight. That's amazing. Baxter is 100. He's got 100 pounds, so he's 130 pounds. Oh my God. That's the same weight as Kathleen. That, Ka Kathleen. Kathleen weighs way less than 130 <laughs> pounds, babe. Oh, really? She's like 90 pounds of weight, if that. 
I was adding a bit of pound to her. Uh, Feral Art says that's her stomping ground. His ne Brian's never been to Nashville. Brian, Studio 15 Acrylics, are you going to pork on? Because oh, I yeah. believe that you're not on the roster. Yeah, you're not on the attendee list. Because yeah. I was talking to Billy about something with you. But um, yeah, let me know if you're there. Soaking wet. Phoenicia Fraser is here with us. <laughs> Mina right. says that Kathleen could probably write Max. <laughs> totally. Uh, Baxter, she absolutely could. Two pounds is what Terry, Terra Perry, Terra Perry's Caden weighs, which yeah. is crazy. Um, we've got about 10 minutes before Mina Villegas premieres her art with Sarah yeah. Mack going straight after, and then Nate Bright and Brian from. Studio 15 Acrylics and Feral Art all going after them. Yeah. So please let us know if you've got any last minute questions before we let you guys go. Right? Studio 15, I mean, everyone needs a bit of Brian in I their know. lives. I know. Let's get you over there. Thank you to Carl's and Sarah and Christina and Mina and all of you guys for being here with us. Kath creative, creative, crafty chicken mum. And everyone else, we love you being here. You make our oh. Sunday mornings. Christina asks, so are you guys living in Texas permanently now? Um, we are uh, We are in, in Dallas. We'll be here probably for the next, what, five, 10 years? Yeah, five to 10 years. And then we're kind of putting together a plan for after that. Well, because you'll be, what, 70 by that point? And so we need to make sure that we've got access to hospice and, you know, uh, elderly living quarters for you and you know so yeah yeah he's gonna be pushing me around literally <laughs> I know, right? so <laughs> yeah I, maybe you know might even be thailand or palm springs or yeah. somewhere else you know hopefully thailand that's that's kind of our goal yeah that would be really fun uh the shade of it all <laughs> The shade of it all. <laughs> You'll need a nice 55 plus community case. Oh, that's only in four years. <laughs> <laughs> we've, we've been touring them recently just to get some ideas for, for Mother Land, Mother Massey, just to see like what the options are out there. And some of them are pretty bloody awesome. Like literally like events throughout the day, events at night. They take you to Kroger. They take you to Target. Yeah. You know, they've got swimming pools and hardwood floors and stuff. I was like, you know thinking of places that we might end up ourselves in the not too distant future. Yeah. But yeah, Palm Springs would be a great <laughs> one too. It would be. Yeah. Feral Art says, so after this video, Lee will be our daily departed. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much Kelly. <laughs> yeah, he's going to kill me. <laughs> quite possibly. <laughs> thank you to everyone who said happy birthday to this fool. Yes. Um, thank you for all the birthday love. Uh, Janice, just Janice, fellow Cancerian, just turned... Uh, 25, I think, recently it was her birthday, so please go and give Janice some love. Um, if you've got some, if you have some, if you have a channel and you would like to have some subscribers, please shout out right now in the comments because we'll shout out your name and ask everyone to come and subscribe to you. Oh, Susan asked, Jeremy, are you still learning uh, Thai language? You know what? I stopped with my tutor because he, some stuff happened with him. So I'm looking for a new tutor. So, but yes, I, I definitely want to continue learning the Thai language. How do you spell that? What? The word that you just said you're looking for. Because you spell, you say it like it's T-U-D-O-R, a Tudor. 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 Yeah. Tudor. How do you say it? Tutor. Tutor. <laughs> Tutor. A Tudor. <laughs> He's looking for a new Tudor right now. So, yes. Um, uh, someone says they wish to live. Oh, Christine lived closer. Oh, I have one more thing to say. Okay. Um, guys, it's his birthday on Tuesday. Oh, gosh. I, I unfortunately am also turning one year older. Yes. But I have that Benjamin Button disease where actually as I get older, <laughs> I just look younger. So um, I'm actually only, t I'm, even though I'm turning 48, I'm really looking 23. So. Okay. We have to wrap this up. Because everybody really? needs to get over to Mina. Oh, no. Yes. I was really enjoying that. Oh, um, I know. I would love more subs and love more watch hours. Okay, so Love of Creating. If you're not following Love of Creating, please go follow Love of Creating. Yes. Cos Creations Art has a channel, if you didn't already know. Crafty Just Chicken Mom. Just Janice. Crafty Chicken Mom. Studio 15 Acrylics. Bears Den Acrylic Art could always yes. use some subscribers. Please go follow 
uh, images by Gretchen. Even it's fantastic photography, and sometimes she reads stories. So go go uh, check her out. AARP AARP will be in fact knocking at the door <laughs> very soon. <laughs> And uh, Mina Villegasar, of course, has a channel. I yes. doubt that there's a single person here that is not already subscribed to Mina, to Kathleen, or to Sarah. But if you're not, please go do it. Um, August it. Acrylic, Acrylic Creations by Jay Witty, right. DRH Acrylic Creations. Um, Evie, thank you so much for the birthday wishes. We love you guys too. Yeah. We did answer a lot of questions at the very beginning of this for yeah. the, probably the first 40 minutes. Um, so if you guys want to understand or learn anything more about how to set up a channel, editing, lighting, we talked about techniques and colors, go back and take a look. Um, all the artists always appreciate the free things that you can do for us. The free things being likes, shares, and subscribes. If yeah. you're not liking and subscribing to your favorite artists, then please consider doing it. And everyone else yeah. here that has a channel, we all would really appreciate it. And you can always share these two social medias for us too. Um, YouTube probably brings in about 350 bucks for us every month. Yeah. And that's, you know, two or three episodes a week and as many subscribers as we've got. We spend way more on product than we do on what we make on our yeah. channel. So please consider helping all of your artists get more subscribers and more views because that's what translates into yeah. ad revenue for us all. Yeah. So thank you guys for being here with us. All right, guys. Please go we'll catch Mina. Yes. Um, we're off to go feed and water the dog. Yes. Now he's woken up from his sleepy slumber. Um, but we'll see you around in the train today. And um, have a great weekend. All right. Thank you for being here with us. Bye, guys. Love you guys. We love you too. Have a great weekend, everyone. All right. Bye.